guys, we are here to swatch the whole Shu Uemura Red Lipstick Collection that launched in the new year. Now there are 25 shades in the entire collection. Uh, some of them were uh, pre-existing colors, some of them are new. Now these come in three textures. There is the lacquer, which is uh, sort of glossy, shiny, and translucent. There is the classic satin, which is a creamy, uh, typical lipstick formula. And then you have the mattes, which are probably my favorite out of the lot because the Shu Uemura mattes are those really sweet, like extremely lightweight, uh, powder matte kind of finish that a lot of Western brands are trying to copy right now. And the star shade in the collection is RD163, which uh, Shu Uemura touts as their iconic red. And it is meant to be uh, just the optimum balance of cool and warm tones to flatter women of Asian skin tone. Although that's more or less a marketing angle. My personal opinion is that you should wear it if you like red. Uh, it is a very very beautiful color that is neither too orange nor too blue. So uh, it would suit a lot of skin tones. RD163 is the only shade that comes in all three finishes. You have the lacquer, you have the satin, and you have the matte. And um, obviously I'm going to swatch all of these so you can have a feel for uh, what kind of finish might suit your tastes or your lifestyle more. Also, there's a little bit of a mix-up, so I received a duplicate one color and uh, I have 24 shades to swatch here instead of the 25. So I apologize in advance for just having one swatch missing. I'm just going to give you an overview of the three finishes for the lipstick so you get an idea what sort of textures they have. This is the lacquer shade and you can see it's very sheer, it's very glossy. But it does go on pretty even and you can build up the color. But can you see the sheen there? I will be putting this on my mouth later, obviously. The next one is the satin color. So this is the satin. Obviously it took uh, less swipes to get the same amount of pigmentation as the lacquer. As for the matte, I will swatch this below here so you can compare it against the other two. And this is again RD163 in the matte finish, which is my favorite. And look at just how beautiful that is. So they all have the same exact red tone. I always find matte lipsticks are the most color true on the lips. You know, whatever you get uh, in the tube is what you will see and what other people will see coming off of your lips because there isn't that reflective shine that sort of interferes with color receptors when someone is looking at a color. So, you know, whatever angle you are at, this is going to look exactly as it should. My plan is to lip swatch from warm to cool and uh, I will go from uh, lacquer to satin to matte. A quick note on Shu Uemura's numbering system. Uh, if you look at their numbers, for example, uh, 163, what you need to take note of are the two numbers on the end. So uh, 163, the 6 would represent uh, the depth of the colour. So a 4 would be lighter than a 6. And obviously a 9 would be really, really deep. And then the last number, 3, uh, typically 0 to 4 would be on the warm spectrum and then 5 to 9 would be on the cool spectrum. So 163 would be slightly on the warm side and 167 would be on a cool side.
So I think that's all these swatches. I love this collection because ultimately I believe that red tones are very, very complementary to human skin tone. Something about red does attract the eye and there's something to be said that every single major culture in history has had a thing for red, you know, partly because of its wavelength and how we can't take our eyes off it. And I always feel if you can find a red lipstick that suits you, that is a lethal weapon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My lips are actually doing okay. Surprisingly, I've never done like 20 plus swatches before. Usually I stop at about 10 and then my lips die. I feel reset definitely helped because it reduced the amount of uh, scrubbing and rubbing I needed to do to get stains off. And it also does help that I started with the lacquer and cream finishes first. And the shoe lipsticks, if you've ever tried them, have this incredibly buttery texture. So uh, it was not uncomfortable at all. Even the mattes are very, very lightweight. So I did feel a little bit more sore after switching out matte shades simply because uh, the color pigments were a little bit more staining than they were when I was trying the cream and the gloss formulas. Shades wise, I found so many new colors that I love. Um, this one, RD189, is a matte rose. Oh. I mean, the fact that they have such a convenient and easy to read color system. Anything from 0 to 4 is on the warm side, anything from 5 to 9 at the end is on the cool side. It makes it 10 times easier to just try on shades that are more likely to look nice on you. The colors are very well curated. It's not like they just threw in a whole bunch of random reds. If your priority is a true red, look for the 160s. Those are the scarlets. And obviously anything that's uh, higher than 160, you know, 170 and 180s, 190s, these would be like deep ox blood and brick tones. And then anything lighter than that would lean more on the vivid, uh, sort of vermilion coral side. So it's a very easy numbering system uh, to get used to once you have an idea how to read them. Anyway, I am going to give my lips a much needed break. I hope you found this video helpful or fun to watch. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.